Hey guys, welcome back to Shep Talk and welcome back to Shep Talk Movie Review. Before we get into that review though, a quick admin note, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a video. Also, I am on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Those links will be in the description down below. Now let's get to my review of Freaky. Freaky was directed by Christopher Lart Landon and written by Christopher Landon and Michael Kennedy. Freaky stars Vince Vaughn, Catherine Newton, Celeste O'Connor, Misha Overach, Overwich. Quick synopsis. A high, a high school teenager swaps bodies with a serial killer and learns that she has only 24 hours to swap back or she will be forever stuck in this body, in his body. Freaky was released on November 13th, which also happened to be on Friday, with a runtime of 1 hour and 42 minutes and is rated R. If you have been following my channel for a while, you know I'm not a big horror fan. But if you want me to get to watch one of these horror type movies, this is the type of movie to get me to watch. It knows what it is and leans into it and embraces it. I just love the spin on Freaky Friday and Friday the 13th. Millie, played by Catherine Newton, is a girl that is, isn't really popular in her high school and really only has two best friends when the butcher finds her alone after a high school football game. But instead of killing her, they swap bodies and that's when all the hijinks ensue. You have the butcher now in a teenager's body and is still killing, but now has to learn the limitations of this new body that he is in, since it's not as big and strong as his previous body. While Millie is coping with being in a middle-aged man's body, trying to not be arrested since the body she is in is a known serial killer, of course the first step in a movie like this is getting your friends to believe you are not the killer, but actually their best friend. Now the deaths in this movie are way over the top. Think Final Destination type deaths. There was one that I just had to turn away from because it was just a little too much for me to handle, but it was just so crazy and over the top. But if you're looking for over the top deaths, then you will really enjoy this movie. And hands down, I have to applaud Vince Vaughn and Catherine Newton in this movie. I thought they both did a magnificent job playing opposite sexes when Vince Vaughn was on the scene, he was just killing it by playing a teenage girl in a middle-aged man's body. Previously, I would have given Jack Black that award for his role in Jumanji, but now I have to think Vince Vaughn just takes it hands down. Catherine Newton just seemed to have fun playing a man trapped in a teenager's body, and not just being a man, but then killing all the people that were pretty much dicks to her at high, in the high school. It was fun also watching her realize that she wasn't this big strong guy that she was in the male body and then figuring out how to do the killings in the body that she's now given. The other actors did a good job as well. They knew the type of movie they were in and played the roles they were giving. There really wasn't much depth in the characters but again in this type of movie this is where we aren't really expecting depth of characters. They're pretty much background fillers and helping to move the plot along. Now the director has mentioned he would love to do a crossover with Happy Death Day and I am totally on board with that. I have really enjoyed the Happy Death Day movies and Freaky gives off such that same vibe that I think the pairing would work really well. And I think Catherine Newton and Jessica Roth would be great together on, on screen as our heroines. I would love to see it. Let's make that happen. Overall, Freaky is one of those over-the-top horror comedies that you know what you're getting into when you turn it on. If you're looking for over-the-top deaths with a comedic side piece, then this is your type of movie and I can highly recommend it. With all that being said, Shep Talk gives Freaky 3.5 Sheps out of 5. Now that is all I have time for today. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe to this video. It does help my channel out greatly and I do truly appreciate it. And like I said, this is all I have time for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next review.